we've been working on the budgeting and putting the data input for the budget. Quick recap on the budget. Remember that the budget is not something that we typically think of as part of the accounting process because the accounting process is past data that we're putting into the system to create the financial statements and work with the people we're doing business with, customers, vendors, and employees, typically the data input being from these forms. The budget is future data. We need projections out into the future. So clearly we need accounting knowledge to do that because it's still gonna be in the format of financial statements. But we also have to take in other information, management information, market information, and so on so that we can make appropriate estimations about what's gonna be different from the past to the future due to more advertising, due to hiring more or less people, due to putting more money into property plants and equipment or something like that. So the strategy that we would use is to take our income statement possibly and export it in some way, shape or form to Excel so that we can have that as the starting point from the past data and then use that to make a budget taking into consideration all these other factors. Once we have that created, then I would import it back into QuickBooks so that we can run QuickBooks reports, such as the budget versus actual reports. That's what the QuickBooks system does well. So that's what we did in prior presentation. If we go to the first tab, uh, we, hit, we entered the budget, which you could find in the COG dropdown. We went to the budget over here, budgeting, and we entered this budget. You can have multiple budgets. If we edit the budget, we could see our information here. So this is what we put into the system. And we were a little bit off down below in terms of the budget that we had in Excel. So now we're gonna make some, check our numbers and make, make an adjustment. So in Excel, we had the end result. This is probably the first number to check, 125,965, because that, that uh, will encompass, if that one's correct, you're pretty solid that everything's correct. It was off over here if I scroll down a bit so I could see it. And so you could go through your budget here and find it, but notice it's a little difficult to do that because you don't have all the subcategories or at least, and you have all these other accounts that are kind of muddying up the system. So I would actually just generate a budget now and then find the difference. And then I'm gonna come back in here and make the change. So I'm gonna go to the tab to the right, right click on it, duplicate. Now that we have a budget in place, we can just find our budget right where we find all the other reports. It's in the reports on the left hand side. And then we're gonna type in budget. I'll just type in budget. That's how I typically do it. And you've got your budget overview and your budget versus actual. Those are the main two budget reports. Let's first take a look at the budget overview, which I don't think is quite as useful in practice because it's just gonna give you a recap of what we already had in Excel, but it'll be a good checking format for us. I think what QuickBooks does quite well, of course, is the budget versus actual report. Although this report's nice too, because you can run it you know, with with different date ranges and whatnot up top. Uh, so that's nice. But in any case, before we get into that, let's go down here and say, okay, what is off in our budget? So I know that this end result is off. So I could say, okay, that number's off. I could check uh, each of the totals by month now. And I could say, okay, well, I got 1037.3265. So if I go back over here, 1038, it's a dollar, that's fine. Off by three. Three, two, if that's off, this one's off. So it starts to get out of whack right in February. And then I could check line by line up top. If I, I could go, okay, then I can add up, say my income accounts up top and they should add up to 34,606. And then I could go back on over here and say, okay, 34,606. And I can I could check basically line by line 22, 22 there. And then my business expenses, if I add them up, go down to right there, I think, because these are the other expenses, 10,182. Uh, so if I go down, you know, you can you can add them up thusly. Uh, the, actually, I, I messed that one up. But in any case, that's the strategy I would take. But I can see where the problem is if I go through down here because I could see, okay, this one down here, I increased the interest in this category or I decreased it over time. So it was at the 334, the 318, and here I had 334 and I kept it constant. So I believe that's gonna be my difference. So I'm just gonna go back and change this one line item once I discover that. I'm gonna go back to the first tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and let's say uh, we want to change 
down here. There it is. This is the line I want. So it's going to be another one of those items where I got to do it line by line because I can't really copy it across. So I'll enter that here and then we'll see the change. Okay, so there we've entered the change. I'm going to click off of it. So these are the, these are the new numbers I put into place. Let's go ahead and save it. I'm going to go back to my report now. I'm going to run it again and see if it refreshes down here as we would expect it to do. It has done so. So that's how you can adjust your budget report. And then you can go back in here and say, okay, the total is 125,965. So if I go back on over 125,961, it's off by rounding most likely. So I'm pretty much okay with that.